the Lord God Almighty, who was, who is, who is to come. Maranatha, even so come, Lord Jesus, come quickly. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may be, uh, you may be standing. Let's go to a very prophetic word. Standing to honor the word of God. And reading together from the book of Daniel. A scripture that on Wednesdays we have decoded through the power of the word. We decoded by the help of the Holy Spirit. We saw it was revealed to us. We saw what the last days will be like in two scriptures. Joel 2.28 and now another scripture 7 from 16 to 19 i think we'll only read 19 for now and expand on wednesdays and in the next next court in the bible school which is always on wednesdays and we'll go in depth and don't tell me that the word of god does not have any depth don't stay on the surface because you'll you your life will be on the surface your life will be superficial but if you get into the deep waters and into the depth of the word of God, I'm telling you, you'll be so excited and you'll, God is so alive. His word will be quickened to you and you will be on fire for the Lord. Just sowing, just watching what these two phrases. So let's read together seven and verse, go just to 19 for now. Then I would know the truth of the fourth beast. Talking about the two visions of Daniel. One with the statue that explained everything for the last days. And the four beasts. The fourth one is the last one. Watch this now. Then I would know the truth of the fourth beast which was diverse say the word diverse okay we for diverse now which was diverse from all the others exceeding dreadful to what degree was diverse that it was exceeding more dreadful than the previous three together whose teeth were of iron and his nails of brass which devoured break in pieces and stamped the residue with his feet we are talking about total destruction and now I, con I connect without even thinking that the last hymn in my last comment can be connected with this, this verse. Father, reveal your word to us through the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, our Lord, we ask. And everybody said, Amen. You may be seated. I said Jericho fell in a way that made it even easier for the armies of the Lord, the army of Israel, to go in the city without any problem. In fact, they used the wall as steps to get into the city. It made it more, much easier than in any other way possible. But we know one house stood high on, on, the, on the 
on the wall. And that wall fell. We are, we are told that the whole wall, wall fell. But we know that Rahab's house was on the wall. So the only thing left was Rahab's house. Because she was reminded of the word of the spies, when we leave and we are ready to come back and attack Jericho, just hang out of your window this red ribbon or this red cord, which is red and um, symbolizes and predicts and it's a type and a shadow of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you've got the blood in your life, whatever the situation is, whatever the destruction is, it will not touch you. So what's the next thing that is coming to this world? The love of God. The love of God has been available for 2,000 years, shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, and people rejected it. We are going to expose the God loves you full stop cult. Because God is love, and we believe it more than they say, Anybody believes in the love of God amongst us? Anybody established in the love of God? Immovable from the love of God? For so much the Lord God the Father loved the world. In fact, the whole Trinity. But the Father gave His only New King James Bible. No. Other modern versions? No. Why? Because they say the one and only son. If Jesus is the only one son, you cannot become a son of God. They leave out the Greek monogenes begotten only in the King James Bible. And I, I, will, I mean, you, you have to realize that if you don't believe in the preservation, the, the doctrine of the preservation of the word of God, and you believe in the inspiration of the word of God, the inspiration of the word of God will not benefit you if you don't have the preserved word of God. Is that clear to you? Amen? So we believe that God has preserved Psalms 12, 6 and 7, verses 6 and 7. He had taken upon his shoulders the responsibility to preserve his words. And if one word is missing, and if we ignore that warning, and if we are caught up with the modern versions, then we are willingly ignorant, as the word of God says in Second Peter chapter 3. But we take the responsibility to have the word of God being exposed to us in such a way that we will receive the word of God as the word of God, as it really is, 1 Thessalonians 2.13. I praise God, Paul says to the Thessalonians, because you have accepted the word of God as the word of God, which really is, amen, as exactly is, for this cause also thank we God without ceasing because when you received the word of God which you heard of us, you received it not as the word of men but as it is in truth, the word of God 
which is which effectually worketh also in you that believe believe God believe that we have all the words of God we'll go in more depth on Wednesdays in Bible school and I will give you scriptures to show you that all this that is happening within the church and the cult of God loves you full stop and nothing else. I'll explain to you that because of this teaching and refusing to know God as God truly is. Because, because God is love but God is a consuming fire in the same way he is love. God is righteous. In the same way, in the same degree, God is not less righteous and more love. God is equally love and righteous. God is equally the Savior and the judge. He's the righteous judge. To cut a long story short, I was talking with one of my colleagues in the ministry. And he said, that the most evident characteristic of God is that God is love. Full stop. Only. I, I, he didn't say the full stop, but that's what I mean. Then when we talked about hell, he said he believes in, really in hell. I said, do you believe that it, this is eternal hell? Yeah, it is. Then he said, you know what? I heard somewhere, I immediately knew where he heard from. I heard somewhere that the eternal is not really eternal, but God will consume them in fire and punish them, and they will just cease to exist. I said, you heard that from Seventh-day Adventists and the so-called false witnesses. Don't mention the name of Jehovah when you are referring to the witnesses. Last night, my wife made, me, made my day. The Lord indeed made my day through my wife. But she forwarded to me something that I've been preaching for all these decades and I've heard for the first time as I was searching in Hebrew and I asked my Hebrew teacher, the one who taught me for two full years in the university, same teacher that is, is a professor of Hebrew in the university and I, I went there to, because I was thirsty to find out and that one question was above every other question. Please let me know where the name of God in Exodus 3 Jehovah derives from. And she explained to me, she wrote it for me on the board and she gave me three words. Haya, which means he was. Hove, which means he is. And he, he, ye, which means he will be. And she said they took one consonant from each word. In this case, two consonants from one word to make yud hey vav hey. But this is exactly, exactly, I mean, punctually, who our God is. For those who are here on Wednesday, he, he, we, saw, we saw the Lord Jesus in the first word, Bereshit, Genesis, in the beginning. We saw the Lord Jesus, we saw the Father, we saw the Holy Ghost, the Trinity, we saw the whole history of Christianity in just Bereshit, in the beginning, that's it. We saw a non-translatable Translatable word, untranslatable word. The elephant, the tav, which sounds as et, 
and doesn't have any translation and it cannot be translated to anything else and if we eliminate the vowels the two consonants are aleph silent aleph and tav that's why you hear et and not et aleph and tav who is jesus christ so i fell into the trap to believe that Yahweh is the name or Yahweh. But then I learned. How many of you know that we should mature in our Christian life? We progress. We are not progressives, meaning leftists and liberals. We are really progressing. We're very conservative. We are absolutely conservative. This is the absolute word of God. And this is our final authority. Not the pastor, not the church, not our sign, not you, not me, nobody, but the word of God. And you're the Bereans that you're supposed to search the scriptures if it is so. I've been doing that for decades now. But I'm so excited. That's an introduction. I've been preaching introductions for the last three years, five, four. I don't know. But anyway, see the power here. And we'll get into more depth on Wednesdays. Don't tell me there is no hidden treasure in every word of God. Hebrew and Greek and in the preserved word, the Bible has got it right. That's the King James Version. It's not the version, it's the Bible. All others are not Bibles. And if you have a preacher that uses any other, any other Bible, he's robbing you from your right to hear the whole Word of God. Because I can prove to you, you can prove to yourself, do a comparative study and watch it. See it for yourself that verses are missing. Words in the thousands are missing. Books of the Bible are missing. Yes, they put them there with big footnotes that these were not in the first manuscripts. Yes, they say that because when they tried to print the first modern versions Bible, it was that thick and people wouldn't bind it because the Bible was that thick. Genesis, Genesis consisted of just 16 chapters only in the Alexandrian manuscripts. Mark missing verses 9 through 20 from the gospel of mark ending with the ladies that saw jesus the lord they didn't say anything to anyone because they were scared can a gospel start or finish with fear or rather mark 16 20 the lord went with them working with them Confirming with signs and wonders and miracles the word that proceeded out of their mouth. Because you shall not live by bread alone, but by every rhema, every spoken, every, every written word of God uh, that has been quickened, been made alive in you. One word of, from God can change your life forever. Amen. If one word from God can change my life forever... Is it important to have all the words of God? To another colleague of mine, when I presented this to a team of pastors, he said, how do you know all these things that this is, these are missing? How would I know? I said, if you take another version and just read it, you'll not realize it. A simple example, John 6, 47. He who believes shall be saved. Amen? No. What's missing? 
He who believes Jesus the Lord said in me shall be saved. So in me meaning the Lord Jesus is it important to be there or not? If in me is not there he who believes in anything shall be saved. Go to a psychologist and say I believe in Vishnu. Krishna, Hare Hare Krishna, I believe, he will say, it's good to believe. Whatever you believe, New Age movement. We don't believe in the Greek gods of mythology. We don't believe in the Roman gods of Rome. We believe in the God of Israel, Ab Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Friday, so that my wife will not have to uh, announce it, Friday. We have a special today event with guest speaker myself to protect you from the Judaizers that are trying to bring the law in the church and trying to take, keep the rupture away from us and you didn't even realize it. I didn't even realize it. It was so well put and so mystically put there that I had to reverse it in my mind and I said, what did we say amen to? Yeah, from a Jewish speaker, pastor, speaker. The rapture will not take place. <laughs> well, Jesus Christ is the hope of glory. Amen. Praise the Lord. If we lose our hope, we lose everything. We are not hopeless in this world. We are filled with hope. Praise God forevermore. He was, he is, he will be. It's evident. It's in Revelation 1, 7, Eight. go through the whole chapter and you see who is the first and the last the beginning and the ending without a beginning and without an ending the one who is the alpha and the omega the aleph and the tav and the middle number the middle consonant in letter in the hebrew alphabet not by accident is the word mem from which you get two words the uh, the word for truth, emet, and the word for faith. So Jesus is not just the Alpha and the Omega. He's the Mem. He's the truth, and he in him we exercise our faith. Meaning our faith is exercised in the true word of God. This morning in my office, because I, before I showed up here, I had a revelation and I just connected this one, Daniel 719 with Proverbs 2421, but I will get into it in more depth and you'll see the connection. And I thought the word the word there was like a weak word because in the greek it says it says stasiastes but in the in our preserved word of god it says those that are given to change now i'll tell you what kind of a change is that So what I prepare for today, but listen to this, it's powerful. Then, are you there? Daniel 7, 19. Then I would know the truth of the fourth beast. God said to Daniel, seal these things because they are not for this time. Brothers and sisters, nobody can tell us 
we don't live in the end times. Nobody can tell us. And the end times started from the day of Pentecost. From the day of the church. But we don't just live in the last days. We live in the last of the last days. Listen to this. God said to Daniel, don't reveal these words because they are sealed. It's not for this time. Then Daniel gave the 70 weeks of years. And we'll find out about this later on in our study, in both in Revelation and in other courses. But we will see that in the book of Revelation, God says to Apostle John, Don't, do not seal these things, for they are soon to happen. So now, on this side of the open seal, we can receive the truth, what this exactly means. In fact, they couldn't see it that day. We are seeing it and witnessing it right now before it's happening before our eyes. Then I would know the truth of the fourth beast, which was diverse from all the others put together. In parenthesis, that's my comment. Exceeding dreadful, whose teeth were of iron and his nails of brass, which devoured break in pieces and stopped the residue with his feet. The word diverse there means change. But I will get in more depth because I don't have the time to do that right now. On Wednesdays. And you will see the, the you will I'm not saying that so that you come. Come only if you are thirsty to come. Don't come because somebody pulled you, dragged you. Please don't come. But if you are thirsty and hungry, come. So that's not an advertisement for Wednesdays. It's just I will get in more depth on Wednesdays. If you miss it watch it on the on youtube or everything is recorded but anyway we are here for a purpose this kind of a change is not a simple change it's equivalent with the word abnormal and unnatural now connect the words phrases Acharit Hayamim Joel 2.28 And the word Shena in Hebrew here That means unnatural change You take the natural, make it unnatural You take the normal, make it abnormal And read at home Romans 1 And you will see this is happening today And God says The fourth beast was diverse from all the others we are closer to the rupture than what you thought so my advice to you I close with the words of the Lord Jesus go to Mark uh, 13 Starting from 35, what's he there for? For he know not when the master. You know not when the master of the house cometh or at even or at midnight or at the cock crowing or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. How many sleeping Christians do we have today? Raise your hands. Nobody would do that. And what I say, but let me tell you the truth, most Christians, most Christians are sleeping today. And they're letting the devil, the fourth beast, just taking over. No, we are not closing our, our mouths. Verse 7, 
37. And what I say unto you, I said unto all, watch. And I didn't read the previous verses that it says continuously, watch, watch. Not only to the congregation, but to the pastors, to the churches. Amen. We all have the responsibility to wake up because we live in the last of the last days. In the Aharit Hayamim, in the Shana, these words, these phrases that decode the last days like you've never thought before. And this connects with the Greek word Halepes, Meres, Epikindines, Agrias, wild days, dangerous days, days you've never seen before. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. But thank God for Colossians 1.27. The hope of glory, Christ in me, and Christ in me will benefit me, and Christ in you will benefit you. Christ in you will not benefit me, and Christ in me will not benefit you. So you better make sure Christ is in you, and you shout with me, Christ in me will benefit me. Christ in me, the hope of glory. Stand together. Praise the Lord as if it was the last service we had on earth. And we are moving on to praise the Lord in heaven at the rapture of the church.